this is body dysmorphia hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so what i've been disturbed by lately is people on social media and in real life using medical terms as a catch-all phrase for some minor thing that they may be experiencing so what am i talking about the other day i'm on social media uh, being social and i came across this post where this lady was comparing her natural face to her face with filters and the point of this comparison was to say that filters cause you to in some way feel bad about your looks but as we can see from the screenshot the woman is wearing a face full of makeup so that is what i commented on because in my opinion most filters especially the lighter ones are no different from wearing light foundation so if you have your eyebrows in this instance eyebrows drawn in foundation lipstick you're in essence wearing a makeup filter how putting on this amount of makeup couldn't also make you feel bad about yourself as much as the filter so a person replied to me and asked me did i not agree that filters cause body dysmorphia and guys i just I had enough i hear people slinging around narcissistic and body dysmorphia it just seems like clinical terms are being used to describe a person that may have a minor condition or, or even just a feeling so to this person i i replied that body dysmorphia or bdd is a mental illness and you guys know that i cover some mental illness topics on this channel because i suffer from severe sometimes debilitating anxiety so it's a bit personal for me for someone to claim a disorder that can really affect the person's life and say that it's the same as not liking the way that you look without a filter on and let's be honest some days not every day is our best day some days we do look better with the filter on or some days we just want to see ourselves with a different look and you may not it, it may not even be a matter of more or less attractive it's just hey i don't have green eyes i don't have freckles that does not make a recipe for body dysmorphia first body dysmorphia requires a medical diagnosis second body dysmorphia cannot be cured and so no it is a lot different from just thinking that you look better with a filter on that is not what people with body dysmorphia are suffering from we unfortunately can see examples around us of people with true body dysmorphia they have a strong feeling that they must make these changes within their body they must not eat because they look a certain way they must change their face and risk even unaliving themselves for this face or look that they're searching for and most of us don't feel that way when we put on and take off a filter just we don't does having social media play a huge part in our body image these days especially young girls and boys yeah of course it does so does having a mirror so does having other people to compare your looks to if you feel that you have body dysmorphia don't self-diagnose please do not self-diagnose go ahead and see a doctor and let's stop making these medical conditions catch-all phrases because that's a very dangerous thing that's happening here on the internet and if you like this video, then you're sure to like my video here where I talk about the effects of sertraline, my sertraline anxiety journey and how it affects me after one year of taking sertraline. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel 
watch my other videos and I will see you next time.